every year 15 million babies are born prematurely. Sadly, many simply arrive too early to survive and those that do can face medical complications and even disability. Scientists still have loads of unanswered questions as to why preterm birth happens, which makes research crucial. And now a team of people with very personal connections to the issue are preparing to trek to the North Pole to try and raise money for that research. Yes, we are joined now by former England rugby star Will Greenwood. Morning to you. Um, Ex-SAS Sergeant Jason Fox. Morning to you. Morning. And consultant obstetrician Natasha Singh. Well, what a guest list, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, welcome all. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, I, th I think I want to start with you, um, Jason, actually, um, because you you were you were a premature baby, weren't you? I was, yeah. Tell was, us a little bit about. I was yourself. born. I was born at 32 weeks. Uh, there was a lot of complications to begin with. Uh, my lungs collapsed on numerous occasions, so I think my mum and dad didn't think I was going to pull through, and I ended up having a double chest. There I am, yeah. That's you. <laughs> ended up having a double chest drain, uh, and, and I spent the next seven to eight weeks, I think it was, in the intensive care unit in an open incubator, which you can see there. I wish we had a big um, impact uh, on your parents, presumably. And health-wise, from your point of view, how did it affect you long term? It, did, it didn't at all. Uh, surprisingly, I think they they thought it would do, but um, no, I went on to be all right. <laughs> I think yes, that's probably a, a, an underestimation, isn't it? I mean, that, that, that's great news for Jason, uh, Natasha. But it is a huge problem. We said in the introduction there, 15 uh, was it 15 million it's babies? It's 15 million babies. And the thing is, this is glo it's a global problem. 15 million babies are born preterm. Of those, 1 million go on to die. It's a loss of value of life. More specific to the UK, 60,000 babies in the UK are born preterm. Mm. 1,000 of those will die, and 6,000 go on to live with permanent disability. And the most unfortunate thing about this is that 85% of women actually have no risk factors, like Jason's mother probably mm. would have not had any risk factor at all. So it comes to a shock as these families. Mm. And it's only if you've had a previous preterm birth, then you actually are identified as being at risk and you have the care that you would need. Um, and from your point of view, Will, I mean, this is really close to your heart and you're yeah. taking part of this expedition because of what happened to you and your family, aren't you? Yeah, there's a pretty special guy called Mark Johnson who works out of the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital, uh, now Professor Mark Johnson and sort of the lead research legend when it comes to uh, mm -hmm. looking into how we can prevent this happen for future, for, for mums in the future. We, in 2002, went, my wife went into labour very early with, with little Freddie and he was only alive for about 45 minutes on the third floor and I can sort of still paint the picture and the, mm -hmm. and the room and uh, remember some terribly dark times mm -hmm. as a family. Uh, and then the same thing again was happening with Archie during the World Cup in 2003 and Mark rang me, I was playing pool, I remember exactly what was happening in a hotel in Perth and he says the same thing's happening again, you need to get yourself on a flight. So decided to speak to a variety of people, stayed to play the South Africa game, stayed in contact, my wife was in intensive care. They basically uh, reversed labour. Uh, managed to stop labour, my wife was in labour, uh, and, and a stitch, a cervical suture and a combination of drugs allowed her to have bed rest, I flew back, and Archie is now, has just turned 14. Wow. Uh, Matilda, we had the same thing, uh, Rocco, little Rocco with me there, so all three of them uh, were at risk with, with premature birth, but thanks to, to Mark Johnson, uh, I have three quite amazing children with my wife, uh, Caroline, and I have this relationship with Mark, Mm. which is a quite an interesting relationship with, my, with the doctor. And we don't see each other very often. And he rings me when he needs something. And he rings me when he needs cash. Right, OK, so this <laughs> is what happened. He rings me it? every three to four years. <laughs> right. And when we, we need when to do something. Rings, it goes, has, I ring to Cara and go, well, I'm off somewhere. And it's like the bat phone. Uh, <laughs> right. And so this time was the North Pole. And we thought, well, why not? And luckily, I'm, you know, Jason's coming and Alan Chambers, legends of, of the North Pole. Uh, look, I'm a skinny kid from Blackburn. I do not like the cold. Uh, I'll raise the money and they can keep me alive is basically the plan. Jason, so, yeah. yeah. You obviously do know what you're doing. I've, Hopefully you can... I've operated in the Arctic. I've never been to the North Pole, so the opportunity yeah, came That's not what you said before. <laughs> what are you telling me now for? The opportunity came about not that long ago, so I suppose I'm going to go along. I mean, the, 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 the environment could be tricky. It's going to be cold. It can be quite blustery. The weather can come in. But it's, all, it's a case of keeping on top of your personal admin, really, making sure you've got the right clothes on at the right time and you're not burning the tent down when you're trying to cook your food. <laughs>
Yeah. Sounds what, pretty what, simple, Will. I'm like the Mr Bean <laughs> in that yeah. story. Um, and Will, you, you very clearly made the case uh, for what happened to your family. And this, Natasha, is about finding out, isn't it, in some mm. ways, finding the money yes. so you can find out yes. what is going on. So, so Bourne is a, is a small medical charity founded, as uh, Will said, by Professor Mark Johnson. Um, we are located in the um, Imperial School of Medicine, Chelsea Westminster Hospital. And Mark really, you know, he spent most of his life and trying to understand preterm labor and understand why it happens. And mm. this charity was born out of his mere frustration of not being able to offer the woman that he looked after choices. You know, so, and as a clinician, you, you see women come in at 22, 23 weeks, and you have to give them bad news every day that they are going to lose their baby. And there is nothing much that you can do mm. to either predict that they are going to have preterm labor and lose their baby, or even offer them treatment that actually is going to work enough mm. so that we can lengthen the pregnancy to reduce disability and suffering. So we hope, our aim is really to try to understand in the first instance pregnancy and labor, and understand preterm labor, not just preterm labor as a whole, but preterm labor has many different causes. And this is where I think years of research, we've not gotten it right. Preterm labor is because of infection, because of overstretching of the uterus, because of the mother's immune system may be overactivated. Mm -hmm. You know, so there are different causes. And when we do see pregnant women, we have to start thinking about why is this woman actually going to lose her baby or in preterm mm. labor. So you're clearly raising money and the money's going to make a, a big difference. So in terms of preparation then, fellows, I mean, how, how much hard work are you going into this? How much training are you doing? Will, why, why are you making that face? So I'm sure <laughs> the, uh, the ignorance is bliss. <laughs> why are you? Uh, I'm going with absolute experts who will have two or three day training camp uh, when we head into the sort of Scandinavian region before we then fly on to Camp Barnio, uh, where we set off from there. In the meantime, it's just a case of staying fit. Now, we, we talk about mm. sort of d d drugs and yeah. what can help, but my, my drug has always been uh, training and keeping fit. So I'm just sort of continuing what I'm doing, knowing that the experts will look after me. And hopefully, Jason, what the idea is you all get to the North Pole. Is that it? Get, yeah, <laughs> exactly. All as a team. We don't leave anyone behind buried somewhere. We just all come back safe and stuff. I stable. like the way you're so matter-of-fact about it. Don't burn the tent down. Hopefully we'll all survive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, like Jason that, says it's going to be yeah. fine, Wilson. Well, and, yeah, look, to go back to it, the, the key for me is to go and try and create a virtual Natasha, mm. a virtual Mark Johnson, yeah. by mother's beds around the world. Uh, and if we can impart their knowledge and equip uh, mm. midwives and nurses and doctors around the world with a little bit more, then the horrible horrible phrase that no parent wants to hear, there's nothing we can do, uh, will always happen because we're never going to get rid of it completely. But hopefully fewer and fewer mothers and fathers will have to um, pick up a, a tiny little coffin mm. uh, far too early uh, at, at a horrible time when you're just thinking about decorating the room. You're just thinking about the future and it just slams the door shut in your face. So um, that's, we, we're doing the easy bit. Mm. Um, the frontline research is quite incredible and whatever we can do to raise for Bourne, we will continue to do so. Thank you all yeah. very much indeed for coming to speak to us. Thank you. I don't know whether to say enjoy or possibly good luck. Thank you. Both. Both. <laughs> Hopefully Thank you'll, you. you'll, you'll, you'll be great. And if you want yeah. any more details, and I'm sure if you find Will on social media, you'll be At Will Greenwood would be pretty simple. Yeah, OK, you can find more details on how you can support things.